Hello and welcome everybody. The Quranists or the Quran only people is a name given to an Islamic movement whose followers call themselves the people of the Quran and they say that the Quran is the only source of the faith and legislation in Islam. The Quranic person believe that the message of God is the Quran and it is clear and complete as it is and therefore it can be fully understood without reference to the hadith or sunnah they are said that the prophet sunnah and hadith that exist is apocryphal and it was written about two centuries after the death of the prophet muhammad hence it cannot have the same statue as the quran they don't acknowledge the prophet sunnah or hadith and they infer that the quran is the only book in which all muslim agree on its authenticity while the hadith have much difference in their validity between the various Islamic sects nor they do usually rely on Sunnah or Shiite scholar because they only use the Quran for their inferences. I myself passed this experience of rejecting Hadith and Sunnah and only accept the Quran as the main source of my faith and belief. The questions that you think make sense while you are at this point is how do we interpret the Quran and why should interpretation of the Quran be restricted to those who live with the messenger and why don't we explain the Quran and today with interpretation that are appropriate for this era. This is a natural reaction after you confronted with too many narrations that contradict the logic and morality standards held by today. So therefore you were left with no choice except to reject the hadith and sunnah in order to explain the holy book according to your knowledge and convictions. These arguments have too many problems that cannot be solved and asking these questions often lead you to disbelief. Reject in Islam as a whole. When you reject hadith and the sunnah, you saying that the recipient of this message from God, and in this case is Muhammad, did not interpret the Quran in the correct way. The concept of your word is that God has sent a message to mankind that can be changed and be modified according to the time and the knowledge, and the old explanation is not valid for this time. This makes no sense because there is nothing in the Quran or in the Sunnah to support this claim. If so, this issue would be mentioned in the Quran. On the contrary, the Quran says in chapter 5 verse 3, Today I have perfected your faith for you, completed my favor upon you, and chosen Islam as your way. And in other hand, there are a reason for the revelation of the Quran and other problems that have not been abrogated, like slavery, child marriage, beating of the wife, and so on. And how do we explain what the right hand possesses in the Quran? Contrary to the popular belief, they do not believe in abrogating verses known to other Muslims, which is that one verse abrogates a ruling mentioned in another verse according to what is mentioned in the Quran. In chapter 2 verse 106 the writer of the Quran say if we ever abrogated a verse or cause it to be forgotten we replace it with a better or similar one. Do you not know that Allah is most capable of everything? The meaning of the verse mentioned is the miracle according to understanding of the Quranic people. The argument is that copying mean recording and proof and not cancellation or abrogation. But the approved interpretations say the opposite. Even the Quran has said that copying is an erasure or removing something and replace it with other thing. The chapter 13 verse 39 say Allah eliminate and confirm what he will and with him is the master record. The most insane argument I have heard from the Quranic people and Muslim likewise when they say all of this immoral thing were normal in the past. 
and we should today find a new interpretation that go along with the morality standards today as if they want to say attacking other people and stealing their money and children and women's raping them was good at that time but today things have been changed and this behavior has become unacceptable therefore we will interpret the Quran according to today's standards but they fail to see that the Quran is supposed to be the last message of God and this message have to be the most complete message it cannot be explained over and over again otherwise how do we know your interpretation is the correct one someone may come after a year two or a 20 year and tell us this interpretation is not correct and i have another explanation and it is the correct one how do we know what this god wants from us since this god wants to communicate with human this message must be clear and inclusive and not a message that require large volume of books and interpretation in order to understand some of its details even this interpretation have many differences what i don't understand about these people is that the way the quran was compiled is the same way as the sunnah and hadith why are you going to say i reject the hadith and the sunnah and accept the quran thought they are both collected and compile the same way rather in fact the sunnah is more authentic than the quran itself because the most famous reading by hafs from asim which is adopted in most islamic countries these two people are rejected in the most scholar that collect the sunnah and hadith and they don't accept their narration in hadith but they take from them the quran this is a misconception because we try to focus on these narrations if it is from the prophet or from someone else at what point in history were this hadith collected and what is the motive behind compiling this hadith and who compiled it and why all this question in my opinion are not important the important thing is that muslim believe in these hadiths and narrations and we already have this text and scripture which is a threat to humanity and it does not matter who said it because we are dealing with the consequences of the sunnah of the prophet whether the hadith which say he who changed his religion kill him came out from the messenger mouth or not apostates will be killed if the islamic sharia is applied unless every muslim in the world agree that this hadith will go to the dustbin of history or they all agree to burn them and stop using them the problem here is that we have texts and scriptures people believe in its sanctity and that it is from god if every muslim believe in the quran only or become atheist or christian or change his religion of course all this problem of killing of the apostate slaving people and the barbaric sharia law will end i myself prefer to live in a country which every muslim believe in the quran only and explain the quran according to today's standards it is better living in a country where every muslim want to implement islamic laws but we are dealing with this reality in which the majority of muslim believe in the authentic sunnah and in the quran and sunnah there are ethical and moral problems the people who believe in the Quran only try to convince us that all the problems in the Islam is originated from the narration of the Hadith. Even the ethical problem present in the Quran, they try to magically eliminate them. That is why it is very hard to debate or discuss with the people who believe in the Quran only, because he is infidel according to every sect in Islam. The people who believe in the Quran only have ethical problem with the teaching of the islam and this is totally fine with me it is nice that you have a problem with what is immoral in the islamic religion and try to clean up islam from what is immoral nice that you usurp verses and texts 
and try to get out what is moral from the immoral this is an attempt i salute you for it but you are trying to impose your opinion on other by trying to commit us to your way of dealing with the islamic religion because if the islamic states start today and they start enslaving people and selling them in the market applying the sharia laws and beheading of the apostates and this will definitely happen if the islamic start again your opinion cannot save us and you know why because you will be the one they will start from you are more dangerous to the islamic nation than the atheists i don't know why the quranists or the quran only people are desperate to defend islam it is beautiful that they found a solution to their problem with islam and it is more beautiful that they agree that today we cannot accept most of the moral values that came in the sunnah of the prophet and that we need a new interpretation to the islam according to our era from this platform i salute their humanity and that they reject everything that is inhuman and immoral in the islamic religion but the reality is when you debate with this type of people you are wasting your time and there you cannot play tennis without a net and the people who believe in the quran only have no rules or laws that they can stick to so it is rather for them to go and convince muslim about their view on islam and then when they decide which version of islam is the correct one then they can debate atheists about the existence of god thank you guys for watching and see you again for another video